Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. For witches. Basic battle for witches. That's exactly that. You know what? And that's it doesn't get any better any week. It's just always the same mess that we use, Brittany, right? Hey, we're like, welcome back. And then it's just jumble. And we just, yeah, like, we just talk over each other and we're like, Here over we each again. other, <laughs> over and over and over again. And I'm like, people just think that we don't rehearse it. We don't. We don't. We, we don't just, rehearse it. There was we just, one we time start you talking. Could sing a song, though. Well, there was one time that you sang a song to, as our intro, and I didn't even tell you that was going to be a, the start. Uh, we could get that in. We did keep it in. I can't remember which episode it was. Has it aired yet? Mm, hard to say. Well, <laughs> future tidbit for the. <laughs> there you go. Just keep it out. That'll be the Easter egg coming up as I sing. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that. Let's be real. Nobody wants to hear that. Um, well. But, anyways, now oh that my gosh. Your attention, we have two unreal guests that we've been meaning to like actually talk to and hang out in person. But now that cannot happen, and that's okay. Virtual, Virtual is still unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Yes. Jessica, do you want to introduce our fabulous sisters? I would love to. So now I've these people are new to me in my life, and I've heard so much about them. We've got Brienne and Brita Baroneski. They are originally of Saskatoon, um, but now they're like worldwide um, and taking over the thing. So, ladies, welcome! Thank you welcome. for coming. Thank you. Thanks for having. Thank us. you. We're, We're so excited, excited to be here. Have you. Oh, I'm glad. Now, um, Brita, you are in Australia. So correct. <laughs> and then Brianne, you are in Saskatoon, right? Are you sorry, you're uh, at the cabin in Saskatchewan. In Saskatchewan, yep. Perfect. Cool beans. You awesome. Well, actually, Saskatoon, you're from like you're from a small town, right? Small town, yep. Spears, Saskatchewan, actually. Spears. Spears. Born and raised, yep. Very cool. Oh my gosh. So yeah. then um, okay, so like this is people are gonna be like, what's going on here? Who are these ladies? Well, Brittany, you met them through Wine, Women, and Wellbeing. Now, you guys are, sorry, boards of directors? Is that what you are of that? Uh, or Co-directors, yeah, co-directors of the Saskatoon branch of Wine, Women, and Wellbeing. Oh, yeah. my goodness. So then so through that, got- you guys did your big tour in that last summer, and hence right. how yep. you guys connect with Brittany. Um, but, I mean, that's, A, already really exciting on its own. Two, I'm sorry, you guys are, like, super fucking amazing magically, like, just sometimes. Sometimes. I was like, sometimes sometimes believe me i'm <laughs> sure it's all the time don't love more all of a sudden exactly oh. so like just when we're like what are we going to talk about I'm like oh girl we're gonna we're gonna pry and pick at your little brains here so yeah it's like, oh, i told brita i'm like we're gonna be exposed to the normals <laughs> what? the muggles Oh, the muggles. Oh. We're here. <laughs> exactly. But no, it's that's totally great. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever li- listened to our podcast at all, but that's kind of like the point of this is to like make everything like this more normal because it is normal. It's like we've, you know, people have lived in this realm for a long time and they're so scared to talk about it or so curious about it. So we just want to like let people know that it's, you know, more common and it's okay to embrace you're not gifts. alone exactly yeah and <laughs> yeah. every gift is different as well yeah very so much. yeah so um yeah would you guys mind sharing a little bit about yourselves and your I guess how yeah, you we're getting came? into like metaphysical journeys <laughs> yeah like just a little bit sure. about like your background yeah Rita you go ahead you're older okay you get to talk first yeah yes, before so, beauty uh... <laughs> Sorry. Brianne has been my sister for a long time. <laughs> I'm the oldest and then Brianne's four, cool. Brianne's four years younger than me. And um, I don't, if, if you're looking for me to introduce sort of us to you, she and I uh, just have this special bond. And I'm trying not to cry because we haven't seen each other for, for quite a long time now. Um, but just a special bond kind of from, I think, day one, like literally we... We had one fight in our whole existence. Wow. Um, yeah. She was playing a recorder. What's that, what's that like? What's she was, that like? She was playing a recorder and I was not a happy camper about it. Uh, <laughs> God, I think honestly. I kicked the recorder and almost knocked out my tooth. <laughs> you know what? Uh, sometimes you got to be forceful when it comes to recorders. Mm-hmm. It yeah. was deserved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was deserved. Yeah. It was deserved. Um, yeah. yeah. So we just from day one have been, Rand's my best friend, like, I, I, that sounds cliche because that's easy to say, but like at a soul level, she's just my other half. She's my person. Yeah. yeah. For many, 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 many lifetimes living. We've yes. been. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow. so together, lovely. So. 
we get that sister thing <laughs> we do <Yes. laughs> we do yeah. it is it's it, the For things sure. that just make sense and i mean we are so fortunate to be sisters and to like have sisters we have a brother as well but do you guys have any other siblings or just the two of you or two brothers two brothers so yeah you yeah. got it okay so that's great are they I, um yeah, are you close are they close with them yeah yes yeah, yeah. we're all very close. yes we are very very close family so yeah that's yeah great. all of them yeah. So you guys get it. It's like, yeah, family is, is one thing. I mean, like, and we love our brother dearly and we, he listens. Hello, Matt. Um, hey, Matt. But yeah, it is like hey, a sister Matt. thing, you know, Brittany and I weren't always close, you know, growing up, like we were of it. Actually, we were so close, but you know, when, but then when you're in those teenage years and it's like, you're not cool, but then like, but do you want to hang out? It's like, yes, I do. Yeah. Um, like I hate you. Yeah. I hate I'm you. Only. You stole my top, but let's go somewhere yeah, let's, 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 let's go to walmart the garbage man. <laughs> i'll go get candy Absolutely. from the garbage man exactly. um, <laughs> get the candy from the garbage man <laughs> exactly oh, yeah well that's such a special time here so now and um brita i could just say you're welcome to cry if you need to it is a safe space so um, of course we will be airing it on the radio or wherever it plays but <laughs> on, the radio. Know, on the radios as well on the radio <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> yeah <laughs> guys i like have had four sips of this Four. That's it. That's it. 50 a.m. Like I cracked it. I cracked it and I was like, I'm (laughs) yay. That's it. I'm deprived by a lot of those. I know this is it. This what is it. Say is, yes, it is going to be audio, but it will be video. <laughs> <laughs> there will be video as well. Oh, it's going oh, good. Man. But don't worry, we'll look after you. Um, <laughs> so that's so good. So now, yeah. yeah, in terms of like your metaphysical journeys here, um, so Brittany's really given me a Brianne. what, Brittany? You didn't get to learn about Brianne. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's oh, I'm okay. Sorry. I'm just being how. Oh no, that's okay, <laughs> Brianne. I'm sorry. Tell me, because uh, yeah. Anyways, please continue to introduce yourselves. <laughs> no, that that is it. I'm just the other half, and yeah. I'm the sister that stays closer to home and keeps things running. Well, that one goes abroad and does her thing, and we just we make it work. Okay. So, yeah, I, it's just we've always just been best friends together all the time you never guess for four years what a guess. difference between us other than I look extremely younger <laughs> other than that <laughs> delusional delusional but uh, I put yes, up with it exactly yeah. yeah yeah I get that well that's so oh, funny I love yeah that. you guys are the best yeah so yeah so <laughs> well, now love I love it you guys are so sweet honestly it's so great to have that like sister energy um so yeah back to the my question here was yeah your metaphysical journey so um yeah like because Brittany has really told me not a whole lot um like just like little snippets but we're like save it for the pod because I want to I'd love to learn as our audience does as well so um yeah I all I know is that you're both you both have gifts that maybe are that are different and then you use them together in some instances yes yeah yes yeah so I think I don't really I don't really recall when we first realized that we could do it like channel certain things or you know see what we see or feel and hear what we hear but as a kid I always knew that I just knew things like you you don't know why but you just know that you know things you know what's coming next you can read people's energy you can be in a room with someone and and feel what they're experiencing and then like Breach and I just one day she said something and I said something and I was like oh you see that too like we're picking up on the exact same thing at the exact same moment but in different ways so Mm -hmm. when when that we don't ever really stop and make it happen it just happens and then we'll just all of a sudden we're into something together and it's like she does more of what you can feel and experience like what someone has experienced and I do more of the I can see and understand possibly what that situation looks like Mm -hmm. so even yeah I I don't really I don't really know when it started but it just like it just happened and we're like oh shit you see that too you hear that too like you feel it you know it's it's more of a feeling like it was like okay (laughs) then you realize I'm not crazy yeah somebody yeah. else who I trust with my entire life also is experiencing that they're not just placating me it's like we understand it together and yeah it's it just happens out of nowhere it'll just happen I love that it's crazy like that knowing 
and then trying to explain that and be like yeah I don't I just know and it's like I, I do a lot of like readings and like tarot and that and it's like the same sort of like knowing I'm like I don't know I just know it I don't know I can't explain yeah, it and then like and there. I'm just I don't know I sound like a crazy person and I'm like wow I'm like but I just know yeah. that's exactly it's just yeah that's one of those the clairs anyway so that's really cool yeah um and it's yeah. such a special thing that you guys I guess did you realize it at okay so four years difference you you realized it at the same time or did you start feeling like individually that these things were happening to you I don't know was there like a catalyst so. point when it when all of a sudden it was like you know one instance? no definitely individually it was more as we got older and we talked about what had happened you know as we were younger mm-hmm. then I think we both realized like oh you kind of have that those yeah. abilities as well yeah. and even then we never really clued in that it was maybe no. something special I or can't. something different yeah. it was just Oh, you get I it. thought I was I thought it was <clears throat> going crazy yeah I I thought there's no way that someone can know the things and feel the things that I'm feeling so obviously there must be something wrong that's how I felt when I yeah. was younger I, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have described it as a gift um at the time I do now definitely but at the time I thought you're a teenager and like the last thing you want to be as a teenager is like stand out especially when you're like I hear dead people mm-hmm. like it's <laughs> like it's not standing out like you know you're taller than the rest of your grade you're literally channeling something and everyone else is like yay we're going to the movies and I'm like I felt a death like seriously (laughs) I remember the first time that I consciously recall was I was about 14 15 maybe yeah and I yeah I just knew things that uh, there's no way I should have known and it's hard to articulate Mm -hmm. and then when you actually vocalize it to someone and they're like, how do you know that? You're like, yeah, I don't know. I know. I just do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not asking yeah. for it. I just know it. <laughs> I've gotten to the routine of like when I know things are like, you know, when you get the feeling that something's gonna happen, it's like I have to like make a note of it and be like, this is what I was feeling. And then I can be like, look at it. Ah, <laughs> you know, as yeah. proof. That's not a, even to like others, but like to but like to myself, I mean like see, like it was like that knowing and that like you know it's yeah it's like I have to continuously prove to myself that it's a legitimate thing and not like schizophrenia yes. you know yeah it's absolutely just something have to prove it. yeah I was yeah. gonna say even yeah. while you were talking Britta I was or Britta I'm so sorry um like That's it okay. was like I feel very connected to you already um in terms of like the things you were gonna say I was like oh it's like this and then you'd say it I'm like okay and I'm like this is like the same thing I'm like oh my god so I feel like you're and, you know, I love it <laughs> That's incredible because I've never met anyone like that other than Brienne. Oh, really? Right. Like, I'm sure I have in passing, but like never had a conversation with someone that can pick up on that energy except Brienne and Brittany. When we met Britt, I felt that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that, Jess. Thank you. You're welcome. Like, I literally, as you're talking, I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then you say, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I knew she was going to say that. I always say like, one of my gifts is like, uh what is it like predictive speech you know like when you're typing into google and it like guesses your phrases i swear to god that's part of i don't even know if it's a gift i feel like it's so annoying it's probably in my I worst trait is, yeah. is finishing people's <laughs> sentences but i'm like oh i know what you're gonna say like oh, okay yeah especially with brita i like i have to zip it because we will say the exact same thing at the exact same oh, time and i'm like mm-hmm. her turn to shock <laughs> yeah and i will say i have to say get out of our head like get, get out, out of my head yes. or like we say it the I same always yeah we say the same thing in the same tone like it's like the same voice yes. comes out I'm like as if there's I just know. one person there and we're like yeah. okay cool I know I'm like Brianna I only have one thought like get your own yes it's, it's all the time always <laughs> that's good literally I think that's part of recognizing your soul family yeah exactly yes yeah. like you don't realize um mm-hmm how connected you are until you meet someone who's clearly supposed to be a part of your soul family and you're like you you're the, yeah. you're yeah. the reason exactly absolutely yeah, yeah. i think been... brianna and i okay, oh no, sorry, no 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 please go, go on i chat way too much please <laughs> I, I was i was just going to say i think brianna and i both felt that when we met brit and now meeting you just we met uh brit last year yeah and i think we brianna and i both felt that way about you Brittany, and we were like huh that was pretty amazing Right, like it felt like it felt like we had known you our entire lives. We we talked about that, Brianna. We're like, yeah, so wild. Like, 
Yeah. We just met her and I feel like asking her to come for Christmas. Yeah. Right? yeah. Another sister. <laughs> and I would have. And I would and have. She's you got know? a name that fits. Exactly. <laughs> she does. Yeah. It's the B3. Okay. <laughs> bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you, Jess. I'll just be over <laughs> here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's no. so true though. Like it's just like, it, well, just even right before we started the episode, I had said, I've, or maybe I have to start, who knows? I said, I've been wanting to get you guys together for years. And I was like, LOL, Brett, you've only known them for a year. But it's like, it's like my brain and like my heart's like, well, no, yeah. you haven't. You've known them for a long time. Feels like a lifetime. Yeah. yeah. You said like a year <laughs> like and a half, right? Way. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like, a year and a half-ish, yes. right? Because uh, Maria or MJ, my daughter, will be two in November. And I think, yeah, it was like, was it like uh, the International Women's Day? No, was that? that was, it was, was May. Le- was just last year. Oh, okay. So, March so we met May, May, okay. yeah. May last May year in Calgary. Yeah, yeah. This is like Wild. again. I feel like we. I have a theme to every season, and like this one is like the awakening and like all the things. And people are gonna be so tired of me saying that because it's like every week, like it's an awakening happening, and we're doing this. But it is. It's like we're introducing our soul family to each other. Um, we're meeting new people in this process and we're like arming, sounds so bad, arming the front line of these people to get them more equipped and more comfortable with their gifts so that like there's more, you know, comfort in this kind of area. So soul family. No, is, uh, normalcy to it. Yeah, exactly. So good. Um, yeah, even though that's awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys, your two brothers, are they, do you feel like they've got any connections to any of this or anything? Yeah. You, yeah. Did I'd they talk so. about it? Mm-hmm. sort of yeah fair more enough. so our, no, our youngest brother is, is um I think he I think he Brad maybe you agree or disagree but I think he actually probably has some some mm-hmm. gifts of but he's very reluctant and doesn't want any part of that so that's okay we fair. we respect that and don't tell him the things more that we're of it. not really sure you know how to manage it and yeah, yeah. Do you think not there's like, some fear in there that he's just like not ready to deal with? Yeah, I, I think, think so. so. Other, a lot of other things going on that if you allow that in, then it's just one more thing that's going to, you know, kind of take over your day to day thoughts yeah. and things that you need to get done. So yeah. right. you just mm-hmm. keep it on the back burner. It's okay. But yeah, totally. yeah. when once right. you open that door, it comes in like a floodgates. You're like, exactly. I'm not ready. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah I don't have yeah. time for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a girl I follow mm-hmm. on TikTok who was just talking about like, you know, everybody has these gifts and how to manage them. And like, um, so obviously you guys between hearing spirit, knowing and like seeing, sorry, see, yeah, I think we said seeing, hearing and knowing. Yeah. Um, not all, like sometimes spirit will come and it's like, you don't always have to acknowledge spirit. Like that came out as like a spirit um <laughs> sean connery yeah i was yeah, in Vigiline, sometimes it comes out as spirit <laughs> yeah so um but like you know as it comes up like you you don't always have to like acknowledge them and be like it's like now's not a good time do you know what i mean and it's like the time will come if that's if that time is chosen then it will come but like yeah yeah you don't yeah you don't have to open that door all the time exactly i think that was one of the biggest parts of our journey or mine for sure. I shouldn't speak for you, Brianne, but uh, once I realized that I had these gifts or this ability, if you will, uh, it just came flooding in and I, I knew nothing about it. I didn't protect myself. I, I won't repeat what I said, but there was one certain instance. um, We are Brianne and I lost our, my mom's only, our mom's only sister passed away many years ago, but unexpectedly and suddenly. And I, just said like you know come and talk to me but I I wasn't specific I didn't protect myself I didn't do any of the things that I now know and it opened up a you know you open up things that you can't control and uh you have to learn to rein that in so I appreciate yeah you're right there are times where it's like I can't open myself up to that because I just I need to focus on you know I'm living in a new country I I need to figure this out before I can figure that out for someone else. So yeah, yeah that's been a big part of the journey for me. Yeah. Choosing to work on, or, or not even to work on yourself, but focus on yourself right now. Cause otherwise like yes. really, if your gift is open all the time, like you're giving all that energy away. For <laughs> and sure. it's like, how it's do funny. you pace it? Right. 
Yeah. yeah right. It can be very, very draining. Yeah. I found when I started yeah. doing my readings, I have like a spiel that I say like before, before I even like, I mean, I'll have like my person or whatever and I'll have my cards, everything's set up. And then like, I can't even like start the phrase because then it starts. Do you know what I mean? Yes. It's like, I'm like, nope, we're not ready yet. Or I'm like, stop. Like, nope. Yes. Like, I have need to a really, minute. exactly. I need a minute. <laughs> but now that I've been doing that, like, again, it's like, I had to like make a point of like, not until I do this, I had to like tell them, like, no, nope, like, I can't, not until I have this conversation. Let me truly be myself for like a minute more and then we'll get into it. Yes. But even now, because I like, it, like I'm like, oh, stop it. Yes. <laughs> I'm not doing it right well, now. Yet. I think that's part of managing when you realize it is your gift. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it's just managing. No, I don't, managing isn't the right word, but I think you understand what I mean. Like that totally. sort of, yeah. Yeah. So that's been a yeah. big, you have to big have your boundaries. Journey. Yes. For boundaries sure. in every sense of it. Yeah. And that's, it, it's a learned thing, right? All of a sudden things that you didn't think you had to do protection boundaries with, you know, within yourself, it's like, you know, yeah, that's great. Yeah. It's and, a great and learn. Sometimes it's, it's really hard when you are trying and you really want somebody or something or somebody's asked you for help. And it's like, I'm doing what I can, but I'm not in that space and neither is that person. So I'm sorry, but it's just not happening. Like I I can't force it. Exactly. No. Yeah. I know. And like, I think people think you can just turn it on. Exactly. Yeah. And like, well, yeah. you do the thing do the thing and I'm like I, I can't, do your I thing can't. and I'll just turn it on exactly like I'm also not going to but there's yeah. um like exactly. people because like we read people in that sense you know reading energies or you know it, emotions like empathically it's like uh I, like the, the the golden rule for me is like you don't do that until you have their permission right like I'm not going to go poking mm-hmm. in where I'm not no. allowed right so then I can't yeah. like, you know I can't be doing that and of course there's times where I'm like oh god I just want to know you know what's going on or whatever what you know it's like but again it's like the yes. golden rule the second you step over that that threshold again like it opens up a whole different floodgate so it's within my control and my own boundary that I set that I'm not going to cross because I set that boundary yeah 100 percent Mm. Have yeah, you that's like walked into or not walked in, but have you experienced something that mm, like maybe a feeling or a spirit or something that was like, wow, this is not heavy, but like this is almost borderline scary where you're like, whoa, well, we've had terrifying. Like what could yeah, you like could you terrifying like, things? Yeah. For example or a story. Breach has got some oh, second. Only if you're comfortable saying it, of course. Yeah. Only mm-hmm. if yeah just trying to sort out that's okay yeah exactly Brittany like loves a good scare and I'm like girl Brittany come on. <laughs> I love it because like this shit is real and like stuff like that like weird stuff like that happens to me all the time so I'm always yeah. like, can somebody else also have this happen to them so that way we can bond <laughs> so I'll tell you the most recent Brianne you don't even know this because we haven't had a chance to speak with the time change but exclusive oh, your lights just did you see that yeah that what <laughs> like whoa what's happening <laughs> my oh. son shut the light off and on from a different room the light switch was outside the bedroom it was like uh I just thought, letting me know he's here uh, I, I thought like, I thought she was channeling I was like, something oh boy like, here we go <laughs> I was in a blue what? face you're like whoa yeah, I was like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was like did anyone else see that <laughs> I've been known to shut down the internet, so it's not surprising. This light switch, calm down. Actually, so (laughs) Brianne doesn't even know this one. This is the most recent, and I have to be honest, being apart from Brianne, or just being in a totally different place and state right now, it's uh, it's been a struggle, like a good struggle, like it's exciting and amazing. But like I miss Brianne so much. Like she is my person. Like Mm -hmm. everything I see and do, I'm just like, oh, I wish she was here to see it. Yeah. Or I wish she was, you know, I wish we were together. So <laughs> you're gonna make me cry. Me. I'm like looking I at know, Brittany and I'm hard. like, oh just because it's stupid Ireland. I'm like, stupid. I stupid. know stupid Ireland. Like my See stupid stupid Australia. Australia. Back. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, go stupid on. Ability to travel. Making us and, all uh, cry. We were... I know <laughs> I'm sorry. And okay, it, it's... you're okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like 
I just, how many times have I called you, Brianna, and just been like, I just miss you. I just miss you. Uh, um, but anyway, so two nights ago, two nights ago here, um, this is weird. And I don't know how to explain it. And I haven't told anybody. So, mm. so here you're getting the first, uh, I love it. first glimpse. Oh, I so I was that. sitting, I live by myself right now. It's a tiny studio apartment. Let's be real. It's like a hotel room, but no one cleans <laughs> it for me. Like yeah. it's tiny. And I just sitting on my Ikea couch and I was thinking about this meeting with us, this Zoom call. And I was thinking about Brianne and for whatever reason, I was watching TV, but I'd sort of blocked the TV out. And I was thinking about like, where do you start? Like, where did this start and how important she is to me and, you know, all those things. And I heard the biggest bang. I thought it was a gunshot. I was like, oh my God, that sounded like it was in my room. So I, I kind of like, doesn't matter. I just moved away from, I have huge windows behind me. The blinds are closed, but they're patio doors. Oh, nice. So it's really quite, quite beautiful. So I heard a bang and then shortly thereafter another bang. And I thought, oh my God, what was that? So I searched around, I searched everywhere. I couldn't find anything. And I thought that's so weird. And then things in here, like in my room started to like move unex unexplained. Wow. And I thought, well, that was inexplicably. Weird. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna hang out with great sevens. I didn't have out. that. Didn't, didn't have <laughs> that word, man. Did not have that word. <laughs> um, but like nothing, nothing like super obvious. Like the kettle didn't turn on by itself, and like the crock pot wasn't cooking its own dinner. Oh, but like pardon. just weird things. <laughs> That'd be nice, though. What Wouldn't it? Yeah. Like weird things. Like even I woke up this morning and I have my these windows in here, and I know I shut them because it gets quite cold at night right now. And they're both open. I thought, isn't that weird? Like, I didn't do that. So anyway, I finally went out on the patio and there were two rocks that had been thrown and hit my patio doors. But it's not, it's not possible because I'm on the, the second floor. The wall is so high, you can't even. Yeah, I'm on the second floor and the entire balcony or patio or whatever, they, a deck is second floor and it's all covered in, oh, probably four foot frosted glass like there's no way I actually went out yesterday evening in the dark because yeah. I was like I don't want them to know I'm a witch um I went out and I thought there's no way you could throw a rock from anywhere and yeah. with the trajectory and the distance it's not possible yeah wow, wow. like there's no way I even asked like a friend I have here I'm like do you think that's possible and he was like no I I really can't explain that and I was thinking man it was just kind of weird Yes. Yeah. And it wasn't knocking scary. on your door. It wasn't <laughs> yeah, it wasn't scary, but it was like jarring. Yeah. And it's the first time that I've been here on my own where it's like, huh, okay. Maybe yeah, I just do have thinking to start and letting things in. So well, that's a, from from one witch to another. About it and letting things in. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. From one witch to another. Did you keep the stones? I did. Good okay. girl. Good. Do you Go have the witches? Yes. <laughs> May we see them? I, I, <laughs> yeah i'll get them i kept them he's just, wait she's probably not wearing pants <laughs> okay we'll just... <laughs> no i'm wearing pants i'll be right back <laughs> okay oh my gosh that's so funny yeah i totally get that but those yeah i wonder what that means i'm like okay this is where i'm like maybe if we want to do some downloads do you know what i mean like okay like yeah maybe we we'll see there? we can tap in and see what's yeah. what but yeah there's some really magic really blinds over there yeah, they are like smooth yes. as butter. They're gorgeous too. Ooh, look, yeah. I'm the tall one. You're the short one. That's what I said. I was like, "This is Brienne. This is me." <laughs> I was like, "They're like two peas in a pod." That was like the phrase totally. that popped up for me. Like as soon as like you started talking, I was like, two peas in a pod," because it couldn't be one totally. without the other, right? Like they had to go together. That was like yes. what I was just saying. That's to Brienne. how I and felt I'm, when yeah. it happened. Yeah, it was just like it's okay. Some kookaburra awesome. threw at your window. Yeah. Could it be that I don't know, like your um, uh, like your spirit selves saying mm. yes, like we're we need to be connected. This is how we're gonna get connected because yeah. really, like for, for how sure. you guys talk and everything, how often do you guys get to see each other's face? Mm -hmm. Well, it's Rarely. always like usually pretty quick and we're busy and. I'm the worst for FaceTiming. So I'm always yeah. like putting her up on the kitchen window while I'm doing dishes and but, running. With but you have a and... life, right? And with the time change, Brianna's two little boys. And with our time difference of 16 hours, it's hard because oh yeah, I'm just getting home from work and calling and you're just yeah like going to bed. Yeah. Fair enough. yeah. 
So then putting but, kids to bed. Yeah. This yeah. has allowed us to schedule time yeah. to visit, yeah. to see each other, to be together. Yeah. yeah. You will yes. find that like, like Brittany and I are a great example of this. Like we, we started this whole podcast because I was moving and we're like, you know, we've always talked about it. Let's do it. It'll keep us in each other's yeah. loops. And I mean, for the most part, it really has. I've had to lie to Brittany about a few things, about like my trip to Canada. I was, or sorry, trip to England, whereas I actually ended up going to Canada. But um, yeah. <laughs> So, but do you mean and like I was like two weeks before he was born it was 10 days Aww. before he was born but yeah. um but like really it was like so that's kind of what this feels like to me okay I'm just gonna sh- be I'm just gonna s- spit it out because yeah I'm spit it out it's just gonna eat at me so it's like like you know like when we're wondering and we're missing and it's like but like you're so connected that like she's right there do you know what I mean that's kind of what like again I, the phrase two peas in a pod came up and she's right there so like whether it's like she's having those same thoughts do you know what I mean it's like yeah. copy paste I know I say that about Brittany and I might too but it's like oh just copy paste that's that's who we are and it's like literally those same feelings are are there you know when you when you think about her she's thinking about you too and it's not a matter of you know oh we haven't spoken in so long it's like it doesn't matter do you know what I mean like no. you'll just pick up where you left off whenever that is that's yeah. what that feels absolutely. like absolutely yeah because I'm I couldn't agree more thinking. sorry I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just going to say, Jess, I couldn't agree more. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, it feels like. That's... And chances are at that exact moment, I was dreaming or thinking about you too. Literally, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Justin oh. and I will literally be thinking of each other and then the other one will either FaceTime or just text. I'm like, we'll oh, yes. Yeah. Now, some things have happened where we're like, I don't even know. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like the sister bond again. This is very much like on brand for the four of us here. Jessica and I have been in like a vehicle driving together when we were together and we'd both be like sitting in silence and she, her and I would obviously just be thinking to ourselves and she'll say something out loud and it was exactly what I was thinking. And I'm like, yes. Well, oh, that's like, that's like we said, like, get out of my head. But it was oh, like, we weren't even yeah. having a conversation about that. It was just yeah. like, a, a th- that's always thought. like, I, I don't know if it's <laughs> the day that goes by that that doesn't happen for us. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. yeah. It's what one and crazy story. Go. One crazy story about our sister connection and our bond years and years Is ago. When before, I was in Spain? Yeah. Before like yeah. social media, I was flying to New York to go to Manhattan and Brita was traveling in Spain at the time and it's not very often that we don't travel together but at this point we were so I ended up on a flight to New York by myself instead of going with my partner at the time because he got bumped off the flight sucker (laughs) but (laughs) so I was there by myself in Manhattan I was like I have no idea what to do I've only seen the movies like I'm just getting in a cab you don't have your phone turned on because you didn't even pay for data plans at that time. And it would have been so expensive. Even if you could, it would have been so expensive. So I just got to the hotel and I was like, okay, I made it here. I did it myself. And I was like, but I am like, I'm not happy about being there alone. I was sad. I was scared. And I was like, Kate, that's it. I'm turning my phone on. Turned it on. Two minutes later, it rang. Brita turned her phone on in Spain and called me from a hotel in Spain and she was like what's wrong whoa yeah yeah and I, I left, was like I'm I left the, here yeah. no I left the restaurant I was in I was like I need to I need to call Brianne something's something's wrong wow so got up and left didn't even finish oh I think I didn't have the dessert I was just like we have to go I was with my partner at the time too and he was like what what do yeah. you mean I'm like we have to we have to go my phone I need to call Brianne and yeah, yeah I remember so I turned on my phone and it cost me twenty seven dollars, but I was like, <laughs> "How did you know?" Yeah, and you just started crying, and I was like, "I knew, I knew, knew that I needed to call." You're like, yeah. yeah, that is so How crazy. You... No, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so, okay, now I'm okay. Yeah, and then after that, I walked down to a CVS and got six beer or something. But <laughs> I mean, that's just right. that <laughs> Jesus, that would have been in, like just an intense journey to be like, "Cool, now I have to be doing this by yeah. myself." Yeah. And who knows if your partner at the time, did he even get to come at all? Yeah, he ended up there two days later. So I ended up going by myself and cruising around for a day even by myself. Yeah. And yeah, it was, it was good. It was well, good for you for being able to like take advantage of it after. After, yeah. Mm-hmm. Once I had the reassurance that I was going to be okay and yeah. I wasn't alone. Yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. Like you weren't doing that all by yourself, literally. Yeah. yeah. Um, literally. So I always like, I feel like, again, back to the pre- 
uh, whatever it says, predictive Predict- speech yeah. kind of stuff. Every <laughs> time, every time, this is exactly how it goes. Every time pre-recording, if we've got something coming up, like I feel like things happen throughout my week that kind of like foreshadow like what we do, whether it's like either if like, cause I usually do readings on Friday night. So usually it's like, ah, I learned this earlier this week and it's for you kind of thing. But um, a few times uh, in practical magic, you know, the scene when they're drinking margaritas at night or um, is it margaritas or midnight margaritas yeah midnight margaritas do you yeah exactly <laughs> you know you know the scene when they're like doctor can you cure this belly i guess it does literally i know but like that's what you two remind me of like you know you guys are literally sister like sister witch witch goals do you know what I mean because like, that was like <laughs> that's literally their relationship is like you guys are the cold you know, kidman exactly sandy <laughs> and nicole like holy toots and I'm like oh, so true and then of course Brian has margaritas so that's great exactly I love that but like that again sorry that came up earlier this week I was like oh that's so cool and then when I'm like the margarita and then you're talking about this comic like, okay okay I get it I saw it earlier like <laughs> we have had a good friend of ours another medium tell us like you can't come to readings together anymore because no. I can't tell you apart you are intertwined wow yeah you're just like a bunch of fat fairies dancing naked around a fire and you're like totally yeah yeah. that makes a lot of sense yeah (laughs) totally i'm like i I cannot come even in the same week anymore no because she would tell us things that that i was like that's not me that's breach and she's like i know and i can't separate the two of you she's like i simply cannot anymore she's like it's the first time i can't decipher i i don't know which one it's for yeah and like that's not even we started going together and then we started going like apart near each other and she was like you can't no like I can't tell but we'll even do crazy things like we before Brie to moved obviously we share our massage therapist so like out of nowhere it'll be three months and she's like well I know if Brita sends me a message Brianna will send one within the hour sure shit sure not she sends one and I send one we haven't even talked about it it's just Um, like no like boom like clockwork and and she, friends know our, yeah our massage therapist started sending us messages like she just messaged and i was like <laughs> weird she's like yeah. it is weird oh my god <laughs> yeah. just set up a group chat exactly yeah. <laughs> totally. exactly we know it's gonna happen i'm just gonna go you yeah. know yeah. At 40 minutes yeah. ahead of her you know yeah. <laughs> now i have no of appointment because she's not living here so mm-hmm. god, <laughs> i'm sure your shoulders are really sore but my cupping was amazing <laughs> there you go there you go yeah oh, oh, that's good gosh. that's so funny Wild. yeah that like is truly yeah i yeah like i said like practical magic sisters in the flesh you guys are like what the movie's <laughs> based on essentially <laughs> thank you you know and and because sandra bullock listens and some with nicole kidman i'm just saying you know thank you That's yes absolutely. Yeah, thank they you. absolutely do They're we're gonna manifest that shit. we're probably gonna play them in their next movies <laughs> well, exactly. I'd, like, yeah. I'd like lady gaga to play me she seems <laughs> spunky she is so funky. She was amazing in american horror story as like one of her first debuts in the mu- in the movie or sorry in the television type of realm and I'm like oh yeah. shit and that was before she, all the other before she yeah she lit it up yeah I, it, I that was too that. scary for me yeah, <laughs> horror is in the name I'm, I can't yeah I'm out <laughs> I'm, out. I'm no, out of there yeah I couldn't yeah, do it if I tried stories as a kid I can't yeah. even watch ghost adventures anymore because Breach is gone <laughs> I can't I can't. We used to. Brianna and I watched Ghost Adventures religiously together. That was a odd phrasing, but you know what I mean. It's and, my, uh, <laughs> oh, I love that show. Yeah, yeah. Doc Baggins. Yeah, I that can't is coming to your house Australia. now. Australia. Yeah. Like I yeah. cannot get it. I can't get Ghost Adventures or Sister Wives. I don't care who judges me. I have guilty pleasures. Sister I Wives. TikTok on TikTok. I've been watching Sister yes. Wives. The recaps or like the dirty like that's. Me on too. tiktok i don't have the time to sit and watch a whole episode but i know people that i will sit on their page and watch every I'm like okay or i'll watch the clips when they have the full clips on there i'm like this is great yes yeah, so i can great. play it in facetime you just have to make the time change work yeah. <laughs> brianne i never thought of this <laughs> that's why i, I think leave. for you <laughs> i can just uh just hide in the staff washroom at noon and we can watch it <laughs> just, watch just in the stall <laughs> what are we watching exactly yeah or just like put in like an earbud and listen to it yeah 
Oh my God, sister teachers. wives. Oh, you are? Oh, oh. that's so funny. What? Yeah, we both we both are just like, carry on, kids. Exactly, carry on. I'm sorry. Robin yeah, is causing teachers. a muck right now. <laughs> Cody yeah. Brown. Oh. Don't tell anyone. Cody <laughs> Brown. You dirtbag. It's a dirtbag. <laughs> Brittany, you don't, you don't watch Sister Wives, hey? Sound like oh. TLC. The thing I, have, is, I don't. I can't pay attention for too long. Like my guilty pleasure is Jersey Shore and Ghost Adventures. Oh, Jim Tan Laundry. Yeah. 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 It's where Very it's similar. Family vacations. Sammy is back. <laughs> Sammy is back <laughs> in the new season. This blew our fucking minds. So here yeah. we are. <laughs> Cam's a here. Cam's a here. Yes. Yeah, no. I like uh, once upon a time I was into that, but I'm not even that into it. I'm most like TikTok yeah, brings back all I these things episodes. right you know what exactly. if you're gonna do it though you have to start from the very beginning and i'm here to tell you they're all on crave yeah. <laughs> like yeah exactly oh my goodness we're getting all kind of plugs in today yeah, yeah. Like, I was gonna say, prime exactly prime. <laughs> tlc has anybody margaritas exactly we're the worldwide division yeah the little boys <laughs> bottle is get out of here girls get some, get out. a bottle of the white <laughs> yeah oh i know i like pot as well i'm like it's okay i've got like cracked the door or the window open um and i looked at that and i was like oh my gosh so windows open okay this is this is so funny um australia you can't do that should you do that can you have windows open is that safe that are like not scorpions good. even oh i have screens on the I have screens on like the wall windows. Okay, cool. Yeah, wall but windows, like, still, like... those big spiders will come with a little tiny knife. No. Do we need to like send you like one of those black light flashlights to look for scorpions because they're like translucent and you like yes, I'm I'm afraid yes. for you. <laughs> also, I'd the appreciate funny thing if is you called it a torch. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> all of, have never... No. Ireland, really they're all like that. The torch. Where's the torch? It's like it's torch. Uh, I'm like, what the hell? Flashlight. I know. It's in the boot of the car. It's in the boot. <laughs> yes. It's yeah. In the boot. They're like, you head to the servo, and I was like, well, I would it's if I knew what the, the hell that meant. Oh yeah. Whenever I say <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go get like, gas, Ryan's like, you yeah. Mean, and they're like, you mean what? Petrol or diesel? Like, I'm like, oh, for get some petroleum. Petroleum. Yeah. petrol. And I was like, no, I don't think I actually do. No. <laughs> I meant gaso fucking lean. <laughs> gaso fucking lean. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Ours is like a diesel run car. Like uh, this is a great conversation. This is literally where they all go, right? You know, our, our car is diesel, but I always say, I'm just going to go get some gas. And I swear every time Ryan, my husband, his face is just like, Did you, just, <laughs> you put gas. I'm like, no, no, yeah. I've not put no. gas in the car. I'm like, I went real nice. <laughs> it's like, it says diesel here. It says diesel there. And when I open the cap, it says diesel there. So like, if I screw that up, like, yeah, yeah, then yeah. it's on you. Yeah. Then you take away the car. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly how it is. Oh, I can hear Harrison. Is he singing uh, in the back? Yeah. He's talking because everyone else is talking. So he feels like he has to talk. And I'm like, <laughs> he's like, I love I cars. <laughs> I love cars. You know who else loves cars? My dad. I love cars too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> his dad. His dad builds and races race cars. So oh, I suppose he's just well, in his blood. Eventually, he'll have his own little race car to exactly. the uh, almost like little bambino or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's so you know. funny. His little face. God, he's cute. Yeah. So yeah, he's um, adorable. Yeah, he's pretty freaking sweet. He's so, such a shit. Um, I wasn't even like... thought when we met. <laughs> I know, but you know what? He was manifested while I was meeting you because every single, I've already said this in a previous episode, but every single manifest event where you were given the cards to manifest, I put having a baby this year, having a baby this year. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Really? I got the goosebumps. Yeah. The goosebumps. And then okay. August 11th of the day, I found out I was pregnant. And so, yeah. Remember, Brianne, you and I talked after Clona and I said, I think. Brittany's gonna be I think Brittany's pregnant and you're like I think so too yeah we did I wasn't pregnant just <laughs> we did it was happening yeah, it was coming yeah. <laughs> crazy right? I didn't even put the timeline together until you just said that yeah uh... manifesting the shit out of that every everyone I was like well this is the best time to do it because all of that energy manifesting yeah. in general yeah like yeah things, yes. things were gonna happen the time yeah. of our life. Totally. that's so amazing um, so yeah, let's lay it down to like a little bit more business here. So 
in terms yeah. of you guys were obviously like ahead of the or um a part of the manifest tour which was Jess Tatu, who's like a dear friend of ours. And sorry, was it Jillian Harris in there as well? And so Jillian Harris was more so just like a super fun guest. That came she was just like a pop in. Oh, that's right. Who was the so, other yeah, guest? Lisa, Lisa oh, Webb is who. That's right. Who everything. She's their founder. Yes. Yep. Bristol. Yep. Caitlin Bristol. Bristol. I was thinking of the, uh, okay, Caitlin Bristol. And I'm sorry, who was the other one? The sister brand. So that the was uh, Lana. Laura and Lana. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. So yeah. like that was yeah, obviously awesome. a huge hit within Saskatchewan and Alberta and BC, right? So you yeah. guys want to across three provinces, yeah. um, <laughs> and manifest yeah, the shit out of a very that. short amount of time. Yeah, <laughs> we manifested the two teachers to go you on did. tour between May and June. It was a lot. <laughs> Absolutely, I feel like we've had lifetimes together because we traveled oh, two, three. We months. did, yeah, <laughs> and best fast. vacation ever. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like, like, bang, bang. Do you guys go. want a coffee? We don't have time. We don't have time All for right. coffee. Let's go. <laughs> that's so sad. There's no time for coffee. Yeah. Um, but now well, that that's like under fun. your belt, like what's what's next? So obviously, I mean, there's a distance thing here now with one of you being in Australia and the other one being here. And you know, mm-hmm. what's you know, what is on the horizon for for you guys? What's like, you know, yeah, tell us a little bit more about what's going on. I think the greatest thing I took away from all of that and still being a part of Wine, Women and Wellbeing um, are the connections made and just simply meeting some very influential women and being a part of a community that I never thought I would be a part of. And not that I didn't think I belonged, but simply did not ever desire to be in a group or a room, a theater filled with women. Yeah, I'm very much a guy's girl and always hanging out tomboy but the energy brought together with a group of women is actually something that really surprised me Mm -hmm. so I'm very fortunate for the connections I've made and the events that I'll create moving forward yeah and yeah just having the time together to hang out and and really just have like I know it sounds cliche but a sisterhood really was amazing yeah yeah when I know you guys had wanted um us to go to be a part of one of your events last year, but we were so brand new in the podcast world and Jessica had already moved. I was like, I can't do this alone. Yeah, I can't do it all by myself. And I was pregnant. I was like, I can't go. Yeah. Like, You're telling us it's all it's gonna be a mess. Yes. Stop messaging me. Yeah, exactly. Just no, I'm not coming. Yeah. <sighs> no, that's why I'm glad this worked out because yeah, we yeah, definitely so needed good. to be together on some level. Heck yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Been so would good. you guys ever do like- readings for people now? Like, would you guys ever, if someone were to ask you for uh, guidance or readings, would you ever consider going into that kind of realm? I would, I would, but I have to really hone into that. Um, like I focus on a lot of other things as well, but I would really want to do that more for people that are close to me that I trust and then kind of prove myself in that area. Yeah. I mean, I, I know I'm capable of it. It's just the way I want to go that yeah. direction. Yep. Yeah, Rita, how about yourself? I would really like to, to be honest. <clears throat> um, the more time I've been here, the more I realize. So I, I teach here. That's mm-hmm. like, that's my primary job um, profession is teaching, but I, I would love to. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how to go about it. I'm not sure I'm confident enough at this point to pursue that. I always just think like, you know, there's that self-doubt. Can you, do you really, does that really happen? Do you, right? Is, is that, Will people pay me to do yeah, that? Imposter syndrome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Your ego is going to talk you out of everything. Yeah, totally. And I think it is that imposter syndrome. Like yeah. it's one thing to have this chat and be um, like to understand that that is a gift and that I really manifest that. But then you get into the real world and you're like, oh my God, what if, what, what if I don't? <laughs> you know yeah. what if I'm not what if I don't what if I can't yeah. so it's hard I'm in a weird spot right now um yeah. I know professionally I think for yeah. me even recently it was kind of almost like a a big boost of confidence that I had a friend of mine a male friend of mine and you know often males are much more closed off mm-hmm. but he had said to me like um yeah another friend of ours said she could like talk to me about this and this and this from a past life 
And I was like, okay, well, do you want to do that? He's like, honestly, I don't trust her. He's like, but that time you and Brita, when you and Brita went into it and you told us things that we didn't have a clue, he's like, that's the first time I actually started believing in something. And I was like, really? Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah. And I was like, it was just the other day. And I was like, you know, what? thank you. I was like, I, I don't ever look for, you know, the accolades and, but he was yeah. like, no, it really, really made a difference in he and his wife's life at the time. And yeah. he was like, I, I trust you. And I was like, that's a big difference between, you know, often people pay someone that they don't know and they'll, yeah. you hope for the best, right? Yeah. And you hope for the best outcome. And that's great. People mm-hmm. are gifted in many ways. But when he was like, no, I actually trust you. And I trust what you had, had yeah. told us. And I was like, yeah, okay, well, thank you. That's yeah. Huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's huge. I think, I think what's missing is you, Brianne. Like if you were here with me when we were together, I felt very confident, very <clears throat> like a, there was, there wasn't the self doubt that exists now. I'm the second rock on the window. Yeah, yeah. there you go. You exactly. are the dynamic. That's people, what guys. I mean. It's like you do. I think that's he how. Even looks like, a, even looks like a pea pod. Like literally, that's what I mean. I was like two peas in a pod. Like that's it. One, two. It's like you cannot have one without the other. And you guys are so entwined. Why? I mean, obviously, life. You have to. You continue on your journeys. You know, floating this way. But it's like just because there's a distance there does not mean that you're still not eternally connected, right? So yes. it's like, yes. yeah. It's you know. Still, I think that's part naked. of it. And you can still, still do. Around the fire. Yeah, exactly. And you guys can the still neighbors continue. Are calling the cops. But here we are. <laughs> exactly. Your gifts can still grow together, even though there's like a distance, right? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it, it, that's, I mean, part of that is just even right now talking about it. It's like, yeah. Okay, you've given Seeing yourselves, exactly. You've given yourselves and other, you know, each other permission to continue that too, right? Like, yeah, because we, we don't talk about it. Like, we, Breach and I even spoke and we're like, okay, this is the first that we're actually talking outing about ourselves it. kind of like there are lots of people that know our abilities but mm-hmm. it's not a kind of a public thing where yeah we're no. you know we're like bringing that out to a community of individuals so mm-hmm. yeah. yeah thank you for the opportunity it's a great oh, no, yeah of course. Great yeah it like, may have awesome see what you guys will do next now that you guys have you know you yeah. have outed yourself to show the world that you do have a really strong connection i know harrison i know you're very happy to talk to the girls too they have to know he's got a room full of aunties how can he not want to talk exactly right yeah. right so yeah i'm excited to see what will happen next what will come up as an opportunity for both of you because like you might again find the time to not only go through the sister wife tiktoks but you might start reading for each other yeah yeah yes, they know yeah i know it starts I really somewhere think right big things coming i yeah. really do feel yeah exactly. yeah i do too yeah yeah i, yeah, I, I guess that- I, it definitely is like again you guys can can reignite that whenever i when i think of you two i think of like what are those um it's like the dna you know like the double helix like that's how oh, i yeah. see you guys do you know i mean if i were to put if i were to draw you guys like that's literally what i see is it's just you're one you're connected yeah. so you're beautiful. in the same path well <laughs> you're <That's> welcome awesome. <laughs> thought of it myself <laughs> but no like but Jim, that was like one of my things is like okay like it just makes sense right it's like again two separate paths but you're still working together you're just you know and the distance is fine but including each other in that gift and opening up to one another is going to only elevate your gifts even more um so I'm really excited for you guys. That's I goes. feel that way about you two as well. Like, I think, I think what's so cool is Brianna and I get to see a model of like you doing that, you doing like the things that you're speaking of, you're doing mm-hmm. together. And that's really Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. I was excited just to hang out with another with sister video. duo. I know. We yeah. Do. yeah. Sisters are always like, they were like, oh my God, you're a sister. That's like, just insane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you also like the same things. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. What? It's totally the what? same, but totally opposite. Absolutely, exactly. Yeah, Absolutely. that's except we dress identically, but like except clearly sometimes different. I'm like, oh, we get it. Why, yeah, why'd you buy we that? We get it. We get it. Yeah, Brittany's more of a scrunchy gal, and I'm like faces? a lazy pony. Have you seen our faces? They're exactly the same. Yeah. Happy paste. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies. 
why'd you buy that? And I was like, uh, didn't you just buy it accidentally? And she's like, fine. Fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it better exactly. Than it. <laughs> Brittany and I are like that. You're like, is that mine? I'm like, well, <laughs> so like, I don't what know. Was it? My, my wisers, my wiser t shirt that you stole from me that I came back it's from it's Ireland. Beer. And I'm like, oh, it was a beer t shirt. My beer, beer shirt. T-shirt she stole from our dad. And then yeah. she had it. And then she left Ireland. And I was like, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I realized it's, I thought I brought it here. I didn't. I'm like, well, now you got to go get it. I got it. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, what is this bullshit? Like, that's my freaking t-shirt. And I wore it to my that. entire pregnancy and then she took it back to Ireland. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, that would be hilarious. <laughs> you should have, you should be wearing <laughs> Those that. Those are fighting words. Exactly. I said, she should yeah, be wearing it on the that? podcast. <laughs> like, why? Since you have it, flaunt it, you know, brat. It be your podcast shirt. <laughs> I have it. You have it. The Budweiser shirt or the back? Weisers? Yeah, you took it home. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. Exactly. Are you sure? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. To be continued. <laughs> to be continued. If I, find it, if I find it, Jessica, I will mail it to you. No. Honest to God, if I open a drawer and it's in there, I'm coming home. Oh like, my right? God. That'll be your sign. A Weisers. It's not Budweiser. It's Weisers. Is whatever. Yeah, is that got like it. Weisers? With the hard yeah. stuff. The and it's a, it's it's a V-neck. Right? It's, 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 your dad's drawer. it's like it was i don't know dad must have got it with like a case of beer to be like i'm gonna say it's dad's from like i've never seen that man wear anything that, other no. than like a button-up golf shirt exactly he would never wear it He's your dad's v-neck like there's yeah. no fucking way it's like a that. soft v you know what i mean it has oh, like yeah. a little it's, it's like not a v. V. it's just not a v. Soft, we don't just see any like this. he only wears the v when when he's being okay European. daddy let's see it yeah exactly <laughs> okay so okay uh, card ladies okay. yep how are yes. we for cards or, do or downloads my yeah. goodness let's do it okay, okay awesome sorry i'm all of a sudden like so hot got the window open. Oh. Oh. i just got so hot i don't know it's either right? good or gonna be bad i'm not sure it, it oh. we'll find out oh goodness so the best part about this and we say this in almost every single uh episode too is we don't know when these episodes are going to come out. They yes. are completely random. So we pull for whatever we think the collective needs to hear that week. At this point, yeah. That way it's completely random. Yeah. Love so it. There's, but, but they always, I mean, again, as because people who tune in, they understand that this is just like how it goes. It always has something to do with the episode. Always does. Or like, you know, Crazy. it's just, you can't, you cannot plan this any better anyways. So, um, Brittany, do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? Um... Okay. I just, I, already, I, just so. pulled, I just pulled if you wanted to go for it Jesse it's all good I haven't pulled yet go for it okay I'm going to pull from the wisdom of hidden realms book Ooh. or sorry uh, tarot deck. The book I like that the book this is a book right look now. at the book the deck. <laughs> so, so I know it's, it's a nice big deck book. you got there so, sorry it's a nice big deck you've got there. Nice deck. <laughs> a nice deck. <laughs> nice so the big are... deck. <laughs> this is why we can't get anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Again, I may have had the 7 30 a.m. drink. drink my Fantastic. That's good. I know. I'm like on my second beer. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> I have to work tomorrow. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my God. I'm just trying to talk over my yelling baby. It's okay. You're also fine. wants to be a part of this. Okay. So this this card is called the Ringmaster of Scrutiny. I hope I said that right. It sounds right. Yep. Part of me wants to be like Scrutinanny. Scrutinanny. That's, no. <laughs> That's a hootenanny. You only, hootenanny. You only do that at a hootenanny. Hootenanny is scrutinanny. <laughs> It's correct. Oh, I like your nanny. nanny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So this is this card is all about the details. Look closely and pay attention to the small elements of what's being presented to you on your path. It's within the details, not the broad strokes, that you'll find the breathtaking beauty and perfection in what you observe. So this ally is on your side to point you to the deeper meaning of what unfolds in your life, and he reminds you that every moment counts. Staying present in this perfect moment, observing the minute things, leads you to manifest your highest good and greatest desires. <laughs> Grand gestures are for other times. It's the small acts that really count right now. 
Yeah, I get that. I like that. I get that too. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's great. That's totally I your that. like situation right now as well. I feel like is like again the small things you made a big grand thing by moving and you know reestablishing yourself but then you've lost that big key part right yeah you've lost you're feeling lost in those areas it's okay let's just find it back a little bit right exactly not dial it back but just fine tune and and the little maintenances the little things that you need to tweak right like those little rocks like those little itty bitty rocks. rocks yeah that's right okay collective what do we need what do we need to hear today or whenever this comes out so i am pulling from my animal spirit deck my animal spirit by kim cran you want to talk about big decks big dicks big Ooh, the snake the snake energy ooh, ooh. it's a very good energy excuse me oh my goodness oh snake okay <laughs> So the guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential. Yeah, this is definitely. The snake is a symbol of our highest potential. It is said that Shakti, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of our spine in the form of a coiled snake. Regardless of whether this image rings true for you, it's well worth considering the amount of unawakened or untapped potential within. What would life look like if you woke it up? And how can you stir it from slumber? An experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way. Make haste. The snake card appears when there is no more time to waste. So when we are in balance, we're prosperous, we're creative, and we're charismatic. When we're out of balance, we start and stop many things. So to bring into balance, yoga or meditation, that inner thought. Wow. So that- I could- Goosebumps. Yeah. Like it feels so like spot on as well. It's like- those curiosities that keep us day to day of like, oh, but I could do this. I don't know how to start that. I don't know how to do that. It's like you have the answers already. You just have to pay attention to the signs. Trust listen it. to your lish, lish, listen to your intuition. Listen, listen, listen to your intuition. Listen to your spirit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put my teeth back in before I talk. I feel somebody calling me. Oh, who's that? Exactly. <laughs> Oh watch how like okay. the the episode will be called listen to your intuition <laughs> i hear a spirit i hear, I hear and i see right. spirits everywhere <laughs> Okay, we have to somehow get Ireland, Saskatchewan, and Australia. We have to meet in person somewhere. We'll work yes, on that. We'll do we'll that. A yeah, lot of yeah. I would say a lot of Irish people go to Australia. Like that's their spot. Oh. Actually, they either go to they either go to Australia or they go to Canada. Seems wow. to be yes. like where like we're in a vicious triangle of like people, which I yes, love. It's there great. Are many Irish people here. I love it. Yeah, exactly. Well, what, what, here's our compromise. Me and Brianne will get together. You two figure the shit out and get to each yeah. other. Okay. <laughs> and you tell us where to go. That's right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. If we get each, two in a room. We'll, we'll be having good <laughs> drinks and good food in the process. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. We'll have our whatever. I don't know. We'll figure something out. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Do you well, guys want to make a card yeah. at all? If not, that's okay too. Yeah. Any messages you'd like to pass along or cards you'd like to pull or any thoughts that you'd like to share? Now is the time. Yeah. Pull me a card. Why don't you pull me a card? Okay. Sure. Do you have a preference as to which deck? Oh, actually, you know what? I already decided. Um, all right. So I've got my star child this, deck. This Sorry. I had to tell sign that energy's flowing. I always do this. Do it oh, up. Yeah, I get oh, that. <gasps> when things happen, my like palms get really itchy, and I'm yeah, like, I gotta too. do I it. Too. Yeah, all okay, my guys. arms. Like I'm just itchy. Me too. Oh my goodness, I love. Yeah, that. Love okay. that. So I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna pull for my star child tarot. So this one was like staring at me before. As I go through my like deck pulls and stuff, new decks kind of like make their way into my like system or not my system but my uh, routine so this one was like staring at me i'm like okay let's go it was actually propping up my computer since like i don't know if you saw my computer going crazy but it was like what was keeping it up so give me a moment to (laughs) 
my nose just started running. That's so weird. Wild. Your body is like, yeah. But, but I love how everybody yeah, has a sign. <laughs> We're just gonna well, sign. My body's just like, <sighs> my Brittany, body's just like yeah, pretty. Yeah. What's your sign? Something. Being dizzy. Pardon? Dizzy. Are you dizzy? Yeah. Not at this time. Uh, sitting down, but there's been times where I'm like, let me yeah. just lean against the wall real quick yeah. while this. Yeah. Happens. Okay. My sinuses and my arms are so itchy. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing that I pulled a card for you, Brita. Oh, please do. do it, right. I'll wait until Jessica's done. Oh, it's all good. Sure. I just had to do my big shuffle here. Okay. Brianne yeah. and the collective. We'll do a, a combined message, but we'll see what. Oh, my nose. <laughs> as, as long as it's just like snot and not blood, then we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Could you imagine? Just like blood just one <laughs> so nice to be here today 11 from stranger things just both you're like nice. Joy. a double no, shit, her, head, her head just spun oh, around <laughs> the wrong hey. direction because she's in australia yeah exactly <laughs> blood flows upwards <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. wait a minute <laughs> okay so i've got three cards i'm gonna pull i'm gonna do this like little reading as i would for like anybody uh-huh. So I'm going to, I'm going to start my spiel and it's just going to go. Okay. So how I pull cards is different than everybody else's as to how you would do it or the next person. Right. So you've gone to readers in the past and they have a way of pulling. Um, Some people, when they shuffle cards fly everywhere. Mine is very like clean. I don't, I, I've, I've asked my guides to try and make it messy. Like the fun, like, Ooh, that's for you. You know, that's not how mine works. <laughs> So anyway, so I um I have a sensation in my arm and it just kind of tells me what cards are yours, like as I pick through the deck. So it was I was able to pull three cards. So um take what you want, leave the rest, do not make it fit. Um if it doesn't resonate right now, it may resonate later. So I again, like in this little reading here, I've decided to like pull for yourself, Brianne, as well as for the collective and see if there's anything in there. So okay, no pressure or anything, right? Okay. No pressure. First up, I've got strength. And like, so my first in, um, my first like thought when I looked here was the lion, of course, but then I saw the rose crown. So it was almost like in form, in, tor- in terms of strength, this comes back to like a protection thing, I think definitely. So I don't know. I'm just going to show you the card here, but, um, what I'm seeing is like, when you have like a power suit or like something that like you feel really confident in that's like you're like I'm extra strong today do you know what I mean so that's kind of what I'm like I've put on my strong cape I put on my like my favorite hat I put on like something that like really makes me feel like elevated um so whether that's a nod or or whatever that just is kind of what that card is standing out to me is okay the two of wands and again everybody reads cards differently so this to me is like so she's got two one she's purposely placing and like dropping and it's like she's finally becoming aware of like the things she does not need and it's like i've chosen this is no longer and she's so she's so like aware that she's letting go of it i don't know if you see that card okay but it's like making that choice to be like i am confident that this does not serve me anymore and that that letting go chapter of like no like all the everything that I was holding back and like why I should have just kept two because like what's another thing it was like no, no, no. like I've got the one that I want to keep with me that has nothing to do with the situation and this one is like no longer so that's what that one is feeling like to me and then this that's one big. that's you <laughs> I said that's big oh big, oh, big. yeah <laughs> um and then I've got the four of swords so what am I feeling here so at first I see, like, I saw like the girl kind of hiding in there, um, but she's kind of like telling me to get perspective. And then when I kind of pulled back from the image, I started to see like the cats around. Yeah, look at all them cats. Look at all them cats, <laughs> which I love. But it was oh, like, wait. but yeah, my first thought there was perspective. Oh, and just like, again, taking that moment to step back and being like, okay, but it's not always about like the immediate act. It was like, okay, focus focus on something else maybe that kind of feels right it's like again we're like a hyper focus where i was like what does she mean what does she mean and it's like okay just like focus on something else so i think that in itself is exactly i think that in itself is the message is like um yes there's going to be fine moments that you can hyper focus on because i'm definitely getting hyper focus um 
but I think it's again it's just like that step back calm I feel as well there was no like pressure it was just like okay I understand I have to refocus in a broader spectrum okay I like that okay <laughs> da -da -da -da. I don't know any of the things this is just what comes out of my mouth okay <laughs> exactly that's so true though hey you're just like wow what the hell did i just say like that's like <laughs> as i've as i've done this like my like my channeling is through my throat chakra and i'm like you could me ask too. me later and i will have yeah. no recollection and be like, like verbal no, diarrhea. No, not a clue me what too. i told you yeah i <laughs> like, said shit i don't even know hey look her nose is I'm going too blah, blah, blah. you guys got I the same thing People okay. are like, oh, do you remember that? I'm like, no. I'm like, oh, I said that? Oh, oh, good. <laughs> Isn't it the worst? Because you, you're like, what the hell? I know, exactly. What the damn hell? Anyway, yeah. the, right, the message was supposed to be for them. It was never supposed to be for us. Exactly, yeah. Okay, Britt, what That's you got? True. So as we were flowing, oh my goodness. Okay, you're fine. Just wants to be a part of the party. Whatever I get excited and he gets excited, excited. <laughs> when somebody cries and he cries and like, ah. I'm itchy and snotty. That's right. <laughs> What's going on? on? With Jessica, she has this thing we've talked about in a different episode. I can just look at her, and all I have to do is this. Oh just, no! Just to like, and they're like, what do you mean? Like, or like, I'll thing? look at a Kleenex box and be like, I'm so sorry. And you know, my friend Morgan listens, and he hates when I do that. So I'm so sorry, Morgan. <laughs> and I'm like, talking oh, about my God. nose. Yeah. Oh. If, so if uh, I just start touching my nose, just like why? Like just why do you have to? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> thanks, Brett. You know, anyway, right there. Good I was just was pulling for Brianna's one. I was like, you know what? Maybe it's a good time that I start pulling too. And then I pulled out a card before <laughs> before I even asked you. I was like, I'm gonna pull her a card in. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't even flipped it over yet. So I'm excited to see what we got. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. So I pull a little bit different than Jessica. So she does a lot of like, she sees the card and she reads the card. I like. I like to observe the card, but then I like to have my confirmation from the book. That's fine. I agree. So, so this one is called the resting tree. Mm. Okay, let's have a look at that. It almost looked like a creepy hand there, or something at first. Like this? Yeah, I thought that was a hand. Yeah. It's a blanket. yeah. It's a blanket. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. it's not a hand. There's a woman laying there, and it's it's patience and stillness, and she's just at peace, tree. laying there, just. You know, taking taking her time. So let me just Interesting see tree. here. This message is for uh, specifically for Brienne, for Brita, Brita. Okay, cool. I was yes. like, who are we reading for? Resting we doing? tree. Oh. Resting, Resting tree. tree. Soak it in. Get to a beach in Oz. Is it Oz or is New Zealand Oz? No, it's Oz. Okay, it's <laughs> Australia. Well, I know, yeah. but like, I'm not. I don't know. I don't want to be like. <laughs> Guys, guys, back up, back I... up off me. Because sometimes, like, I'm like, what does it mean? Because I'm like, New Zealand. Because sometimes it's the New Zealanders are like, oh, it's like, what is it? Like, <laughs> guys, I was sure I... I was gonna catch that. I was like, oh, let's wait. Yeah. If I have that. a, if you I said. had a loony, every time I offended someone here, I'd be fucking rich. Oh, oh my God. sorry. No <laughs> shrimp on the Barbie. No, no. <laughs> I am so sorry. Take your Marmite and get the hell exactly. out of here. Exactly. What are they called? Sorry. Yeah. That's, That's yeast. Yeast. <laughs> yeah, That's not the yeah, yeasty spread. Read the card. Oh. Yeah, sorry, Brittany. Yeah, card. please. Love that. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's so funny though. Because now this card makes a lot more sense to Jessica's card that she's pulled. To. Okay. So it's like, again, you two. The resting tree is a sign for you to stop focusing and planning and be at peace in the moment. This is a representative. Oh, I don't know what that word is. Oh, never mind. LOL. Yeah. It was just cut up weird. Non action, but it was just like, no action. No action. <laughs> Sean Connery's back. Non action. <laughs> Oh, of, <laughs> of non-action and relaxation patience is the key to being with this ally 
The resting tree asks you to slow down, sit back, and watch the roses bloom and the birds feed in the meadow. This isn't the time to forge ahead in any way. You may not be able to take enough breaks, so you're invited to be still and contemplate your good fortune, even if it means blessing the chaos in your life. This is a sign to allow everything to fall away except the stillness of the moment. It's like living within the space between breaths. When the resting tree appears, it signals that you've done all that you can for now, and it's time, sorry, it's a time to unwind and allow your story to unfold of its own accord. Mm -hmm. You've earned the right to rest and relax. Amazing ideas will come if you do. Remember the ancient saying, we do without doing and everything gets done. So oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I yeah. like that. <clears throat> wow. I, I love that. I love that. <clears throat> that non-focus yeah. of like, yeah it, it, i love that i've never heard that quote before maybe that's like no i like thing. that too me neither we, we do, do it without doing there, and never relax gets and enjoy it. yeah i i don't think you know how much i needed to hear that thank you oh, yeah. okay. well i'm happy that we could both we could read for you guys exactly <laughs> i know it's great amazing. i love Next it time we'll read for you exactly oh that would be so much fun i think that would be a blast yeah. I'd, oh i'd love that yeah, we should just like, like, we do our time zones. We could do it on a weekend where we can yeah. try to plan everybody's schedules together. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, that's we'll Yeah. We'll yeah. We'll this make works because I don't go back to work till Monday. Oh, lucky. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. But well, we could do a weekend. Yeah. 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 That'd be great. We can like do a Saturday it. night like, for us, Sunday for yeah, you. Like a That'd Saturday afternoon for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Saturday yeah. night. And it'd yeah. be Sunday morning Sunday for me. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Sisters 2.0 amazing okay is there anything that we can plug for you guys yeah um Social going media yeah anything yeah, that you want look to look forward to wine and women well-being saskatoon perfect there will be more things happening also i think just look forward to both our personal profiles for new and exciting things coming our way Excellent. yeah uh, i'll have I'll all that tagged. oh sorry go ahead it's yeah so you can take it <clears> sorry no it's okay Rita. i was just Rita. yeah Rita. Uh, you Rita. go Rita. You go. <laughs> I, I was just going to say thank you. Oh. Go ahead. You're welcome. No, um, no, yeah. I was gonna say I was I'll... just gonna say follow a, yeah. follow our personal profiles. Brianne, Christina, Brita Megan. Perfect. On Instagram and yeah. I love and it. All Look of that will be tagged. Time. Yeah, all that'll be tagged in our show notes. So we'll make sure that everybody is aware of where to find you and and how to and yeah, this has been really great. I love it. So this is so good. I hope I you feel know, like so I needed this. My, my little cup is full. Like it, it does yeah, feel nice too. to like because even Brittany and I haven't have been able to like sit down and like do anything together in the last few weeks. It's like I don't yeah. even get it. I'm like, here's a text message. Here's a five minute FaceTime while exactly. one of our babies. Totally. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Before Us the kids too. I love you. I love you yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I'm like literally. Hi. Bye. Yeah, great to carve out some time. Here's yeah. a TikTok or here's yeah. an Instagram reel. Exactly. Yeah, Instagram reel. Yeah. 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 Oh, Let's do well, this awesome. again, ladies. I love you Please all. Do. Yes, we love you too. Yeah. Don't go anywhere Thank just yet. Guys. Um, Brittany, yeah. where can they find us? We can we can be found at Basic Banter for Witches on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And you can always email us at basicbanterforwitches at gmail.com. Heck yeah, you can. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. And we'll uh Thank listeners, you. we'll uh, see you next week. Don't move, you too. And yeah, yeah. listeners, we'll uh, we'll be in touch. We love you. Yes. See you next time. Bye. Bye now. Bye now.